What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6pm, it is Sunday. And we are going to see what EA have given us for today. We're obviously expecting the two silver evolutions along with probably, hopefully, a third evolution as well. Uh, we get nothing in season progress. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the content, feel free to like the video. It lets YouTube know that you're enjoying the content and it will publish it to your feed more. Um, but outside of that, we don't have anything in live. We don't have anything in seasonal. We obviously, I mean, they haven't touched milestones in a long time. I hope they kind of just remove milestones or, or completely revamp them next time around. So what do we have for evolutions? We have got the aerial threat. One, okay, EA. 175,000 coins is absurd. Now, number of playstar pluses is maximum three. Skill moves and weak foot is maximum four star, four star. Physical is maximum 94. Ace is maximum 97. Overall is maximum 92. This might be the worst S evolution we've had the whole year because you are putting in maximum 92 rated cards. And whilst, yes, you are gaining 25 jumping and 25 heading accuracy, it's one shooting, two passing, one dribbling, another 25 jumping and heading accuracy, one shooting, two passing, two dribbling, and then four-star skill moves and four-star... What's the point of putting it max four-star, four-star if it gives it anyway? One pace and aerial. The actual upgrade that this gives is so bad for 175,000 coins. If this was free, I'd be sitting here saying, yeah, this is legit because I've got some sick players that I could put in there, um, some sick Arsenal players, or just some, you know, this Ali has already got aerial, I suppose. But yeah, I, I, man, three three play star pluses as well is, uh, you know, max three is good. But the boost, guys, it's one total pace, two total shooting, four total passing, three total dribbling, two total defending, and one total physical. It's just that it does give that aerial plus, and then what I presume will be 99 heading and 99 jumping for like most players. So I'm sure that there's like the odd good player that you've got here or there. But the truth, the genuine truth is this is ludicrous at 175,000 coins. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. And so with that, guys, let's have a look at the other, what I presume we've got as the silver midfielders today, was it? It was a defender. The silver... Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, yeah, there you go. Footy's midfielder, one and two. Gives 10 pace, 10 shooting, 18 passing, 15 dribbling, 12 defending, and 12 physical. It also gives one star weak foot, incisive pass plus, long ball pass. Not plus on that one. Uh, anticipate ping pass plus and one star skill moves. And then one star weak foot, uh, play style of technical and playstyle plus of relentless that's not bad to be fair that might actually just be the best one that we've had because you could probably find yourself i mean christie's probably a really good option you could probably find yourself somebody that gets a really tidy card for the silver tournament and obviously it's like really easy to get these guys played in it's just play one game so now that you've got all six of them it might be wise to go and put six players into a team get six Evos here, get the games played whilst doing the silver thing. Those players will be much, much better than the other things that you can have. I, I, I still can't believe that Evo is 175,000 coins. It's crazy. Let's have a look at the SBCs for today. We have got uh, nothing. Well, obviously nothing new in favorites. Do we have a new player today? We have got... Sadio Mane, 96 rated, three squads only. He has got five star, five star, can play center forward, left mid, striker, and left wing. Great pace, great shooting, great dribbling, very good physicals, good passing, brilliant play styles. Quick step plus, rapid, 
relentless plus trickster plus and finesse shot plus if you do abuse that thing that pattern like that could be really good he's got yeah rapid flare first touch ping pass and power shot that's a good card and obviously premium footies which is really nice and only three segments which is really nice it's an 85 and 86 and an 88 that is so affordable like it's almost like they listened when i'm like there's no need well they've actually just been really good in general with the sbc's the the footies sbc prices they've generally been really good really well priced even the the heroes and such are just generally really good um oh we have got a new icon pick here um it's just the actual icons that they're a bit hit and miss with some of them are insanely valued and then some of them are atrociously not valued but just expensive the 84 by 10 is there and then the 85 by 10 is back again we will do the 85 by 10 again of course we will why would we not um let's get this nanasi in here and then what was it an 86 rated squad so i'll pop some of these uh for the pieces i picked up i think from the last 85 by 10 actually um i can't i don't think i've done much on the account outside of that i did the daily play but that was about it and of course if you guys want to share with me what you got in your packs today and if you share with me what you got in your icon picks today that would be much appreciated uh, either on discord.gg slash nepenthes or over on like x or instagram or whatever uh all slash nepenthes there to share with me what you picked up let's get a few other big players here just in case the rating's a bit low nope it's actually 87 rated so let's bring down raspadori that takes it down to an 86 and there's our 85 by 10 for the day i'm very excited about that um, before we look at that icon, though, let's see if we've got anything else in the upgrade section. It doesn't look like it. We have not. Um, do we have any new challenges? No, we do not. Do we have a new icon? No, we do not. Oh, I thought we got a new one there because it was in between Abili and, uh, and the finished one. So the brand new upgrade, a 93 plus. One of three greats of the game, footies team one, footies team two, footies team three icon. Is this a new? I think this is just a re-release of the last one, isn't it? I don't think it's actually new. An 88 and an 89 with a team of the week and the team of the season. We'll build one of these. I can't. We'll, once we get onto foot.gg or footbin, we'll have a look. But I, I think this might be just... Okay, brilliant. It, I think this, just, this might just be a re-release um, of the previous one rather than a new sbc so if i go on the sbc sections uh, upgrades how do i show expired can i show expired no i can't not on here anyway um let me go to foot bin then uh let's get into here and build that sbc anyway uh, sbcs active sbcs let's see expired sbcs yeah, it was... I mean, people loved it. Oh, I didn't have... I suppose we have got now Team 3 in this one as well, Icons. they That wasn't in there before. Um, it was just Team 2 before. And so, in that regard, that is an upgrade to a degree. Like, it's not quite exactly the same Icon pick, but it, it pretty much is. Let's build ours anyway. I know we can do two a day. I'm not going to do two right here. We're just going to build one. Uh, we'll use these uh, these packs and picks right here to start. Casimiro Umdi. And then we'll pop some golds in. And what was the other one? It was an 88. Also needing a team of the week or a team of the season, which I don't actually think is too much of a problem um, right now, just because they are plentiful. You know, they, they were, we, we struggled to get them previously, but we do not anymore. Um, let me just get a few extra players on there just in case I need to bring this rating down. Okay, so it's, it's pretty much bang on for the rating. It might be overkill by a little bit, but I'm not fussing over some, uh, you know, one extra 89 instead of an 86 or anything like that. And then the 88 rated squad as well also requires a team of the week or, and a team of the season. Um, I'm obviously not going to use these guys in that one. They are a bit too high rated. Uh, and a bit too good. Matthews Nunez, I don't mind. I just need to get the team of the season now. Sure, I'll have one. Right, EA? Maybe not. Team of the year, Harry Kane's there. Surely I've got a team of the season in here somewhere. Yeah, may genuinely, maybe not. 
Oh, there we go. Halovic. I was I was actually sitting there thinking, wow, have I have I not got a team of the season? I had two there. I had Luis Diaz as well. Um, this is going to be massively, massively overkill. So we're going to drop in a whole bunch of 84s. Game over for Celtic, it might be. Um, and bring this rating right down with these 84s right here. Um, so, oh no, do you know what? That's an 88 rated squad. Fair enough. There we go. Again, I'm not going to... We're going to cry over a few over over the top ratings, but here's our 93 plus guys. Our 93 plus one of three greats of the game. Footies icon from tier one, two, or three. Give me a footies. Give me a special one. Come on. Uh, and and th this is why, like, I, I don't mind this. Like, it's nice. It's repeatable every couple of days, twice or whatever. And it's good if you're targeting a, an icon. I still want. I'm still missing Thierry Henry from Arsenal. Um, and, uh, like, there's a few other Arsenal, like, a bit, you know, the 86 Ashley, sorry, the 96 Ashley Cole or the 95 Ashley Cole, whatever, still missing him, would, would be nice to get. But much like a lot of the content right now, which is, is where it's a bit weird and where I think footies is kind of falling short for a lot of people, is that because the exchange is in the game now, and I, I feel like I spoke about this on stream at length yesterday, so I'm not going to go about it too, too much today, but because the exchange grind is there, your high rated cards into the exchange you get your low rated cards out the low rated cards go into the player picks you you basically not even basically you quite literally have unlimited packs as an option right now but getting like the 90 getting these specific uh player picks they're only really good if you get the player that you want because you can grind for basically anything else any other way right wow this might be a really poor 85 by 10 um going to be Carl and a hero and so it would be nice if EA gave us a bit of a better way to get the players that we're specifically targeting right now that is quite possibly the single worst 85 by 10 you will ever see that genuinely wasn't worth it I didn't even hit a team of the season um but yeah like it's 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 interesting because Last year we didn't have the exchange, and so because we didn't have the exchange, of course, there were there you know the eighty five by ten, the eighty four by ten repeatable, like it made sense. It was important, even to a degree. Like this icon player pick would have been way more important, apart from the fact, like right now, if we look at um, rarity footies icons, let's have a look at all the icons that are available. This this is it. This is all of the icons from footies, from Team 1, 2, and 3. And of course, Abili was an SBC. Brian Steiger, Van Persie, the same. Kaka, the same. Gattuso's an objective. Butchogueno is an SBC. Grinch is on the season pass. Eto's an SBC. So the only icons available that are footies themed, Bracey, who probably everyone's packed and is cheap. Deutschkov, who's reasonably good, but super cheap. Van Nistroy, that everybody packed and is super cheap. Smith and Czech both at 90k. It's only these this collection here that you look at and think, this is what you're hunting for. Either Ribery, Cantona, maybe Socrates, Gerzinho, Best, Ferdinand, and Pele. There's only actually like a handful of icons that you really want out of that because the greats of the game icons, there's some good ones in there still. Don't get me wrong. You know, if you get that like rude hullet, you're not going to say no. And if we put the um, greats of the game icons in as well. Yeah, Ronaldo's there. Ronaldinho, Zidane, Cruyff. You definitely want those. Rivaldo. Potentially, da yeah, Dalglish definitely, actually, I'd say you'd look for. Maybe not Charlton. I think he was quite common previously. Rude Hull is still very good as well. Rooney was an SBC. Henri is who I'm targeting and who I want. But then you kind of go down into that same sort of sort of set of players. Now, Zico's still quite nice. Mateus is still quite nice. Where they're, they're kind of cheap, right? And so the, it's actually mad looking at these greats of the game icons. They're almost more what you're looking for opposed to the, you know, th th there's a lot more better great of the game icons than there are footies icons. And so, yeah, I just, I think because the pack grind is so, it, it is genuinely like infinite. I feel like it's, it's, it's really weird. It's really weird. Like, like footies this year has been really weird. I feel like the game is in the st a state of emergency to a degree where the pack grind has never been so good. And I know I've said that about four times in the space of about five minutes, but the pack grind has never been so good. At which point, this game has never accelerated to the degree that it is at right now. And if I even just like kind of look at my own team here, 
with you guys. And I haven't really grinded for the high rated cards or anything like that. I haven't really been playing champs and whatnot. I haven't got like the Erling Haaland yet. I didn't get the big um, cards from last season, you know, the 98 and 97 rated like Tony Crows and stuff like that. The 98 push cast, I didn't get him. And my team is just full of insanely high rated cards. Now, yes, there is definitely a little bit more of an allure for an icon over like, you know, if you said to me, like, what do you want? McAllister or Vieira, I'm going to go with Vieira, right? What do I want, Maldini or Gabriel? Well, in this instance, maybe Gabriel. But let's say I had, like, I don't know, a different 97, 98 rated centre-back. Uh, I don't know, like Canate or something. I'd probably take Maldini over Canate in that regard. The, the icons definitely have that draw a little bit more. But everybody who's still playing this game to any kind of, like, serious degree right now has a team at least as good as mine, probably better than mine. And you can't really accelerate past this. Like, there are a lot of 99s in the game now, mind you. And when we look at even that as the player options, you've got Ronaldo, Kerr, she's reasonably cheap, Frimpong, Hansen, Pele, Neymar, Pelas. Are they easy to get hold of? No. But are the 98s a little bit more reasonably easy to get a hold of? I think they have been. You know, with the amount of rewards we've had, foot champs rewards and stuff, people have got these cards in abundance. And because we're still seven weeks away from the the new game and when we look at the sheer volume of 97 98 and 99 rated cards it's like uh, like it's ea have put this game in a weird place i didn't even mean to like go on a rant here not that i'm really ranting kind of just expressing where i'm at with this game because my, my like my desire to play this game has tapered off massively and a big part of that is because i can't reasonably get the players that i want the most and so, for example, I was lucky enough to get Vieira the day he came out. But I really want this Thierry Henry card, first owner. I've, you know, I could grind the coins to buy him, but I really want him first owner. The issue EA have now, the, the one of the kind of like problems that the game has is a 93 icon player pick is fine. It is fine. But people are only really doing this to target one or two specific players that they really, really want, or the massive 97, 98, 99 rated icons. And it's unlikely you're going to get it out of that. Now, obviously, because the pack grind's so good, you're going to be able to do this no problem anyway at all. But I'm concerned, like genuinely concerned as to like, where does this game go over the next seven weeks? Because the highest of high rated cards have been massively easy accessible. And so the, it's almost like a lose-lose situation for EA right now because they present something like this here and, yeah, you, you're going to be crazy lucky to get a card that you want. Otherwise, you just go back to grinding the game through the exchange and through the player picks to hit the cards that are in packs right now. Alternatively, EA makes something like this infinitely repeatable and so then you can effectively guarantee over time the cards that you want. And at that point... We're right back at the problem where we're at now, where everybody's team is just way too good. I appreciate the objective for the silver, uh, the silver Cup. I actually think this is a really good one. It's another one that provides a 97-rated card, a 95-rated Lookman, a 96-rated Dumfries. You know, you could start a brand new account right now, and you could reasonably achieve a 97-rated squad in about three hours of starting a brand new account. Right now, you know, you get some really cool packs here as well. The packs are absolutely brilliant, an 87 by 4 an 83 by 20 is really nice. The 85 by 3 is really nice. But this objective is cool. And the Evos for it are actually quite cool. You know, I, I kind of caught myself yesterday being like, man, that's it's so terrible for those Evos. But actually, playstyles and playstyle pluses on silver cards makes them infinitely better than any other silver card. And then they get a good stat boost as well, right? So it's one of those situations where if, I, I, I don't know why this person's up on the screen here from footbin but or sorry from foot.gg but like this card will just be insane in game it, like maybe not because it's a striker that we've got as a midfielder boost but these sort of stats are okay these play styles are brilliant for silvers and so things like this are going to have to carry the game but the problem is people generally don't want to play with boosted silvers for the packs which is why the gold and gold stuff is coming through massively People kind of want a reason to play with the players that they've got, the, the high-rated players. I really enjoyed 
the foot champs um objectives the foot champs play stuff i really enjoyed it not necessarily this one um i've, I've got six more wins with a team of the season team to get marquisio but i might not even because i just can't be bothered i haven't even started my champs i've got three accounts that i wanted to play champs on this weekend here we are on sunday evening and i haven't played champs on any of them i haven't even qualified on two of them um to play champs and it, and it is because my, my personal kind of like ability to care dropped off a cliff because hacking anything became too easy hacking everything became or you know like getting bored of opening infinite packs became almost too easy and so the quote unquote issue is that i want to play with the players that i want to play with now and that's where it's really really difficult if we just look at um let's go to uh club arsenal and then past and present we'll put arsenal in as well um you know, like, what are the odds of me getting Saka or Saliba? I've already got Rice. What? How am I going to get Havertz? I I got Gabriel. This Gabriel Martinelli is really common, really pop, like pops very often from player picks and stuff. I haven't seen him once. I don't have him yet. Uh, we've got the little SBC. Um, give your. Let me take the uh, that one out. There you go. Um, you know, I want Petacek. I don't really care too much about Smith. I want Henri. I will get Van Persie. I've got Petit and Suquet now. I've got this Canu as well. But how, like, because I've got most of the cards, and I'll probably pack check throughout this week, how on earth am I going to get Saka, Saliba, Havertz, Henri if there's not, like, a concerted way for me to actually achieve these cards? And then, like I say, if EA give a, a very, like, straight line route to getting this type of card, everybody will have everything in the game and we're right back at that point of like okay now what do we do and if we was three weeks away from the new fc 25 i'll be like who cares right we're three weeks away just go have fun play whatever we're still seven weeks away seven weeks is a long time for ea to fill more content into this game to keep people engaged when they already mostly have everything and so i don't really know where they're going with it what I do know is that they've given us some SBCs today. I think this is fine. Like I said, I think this is fine. I think the Sadio Mane is fine as well. He's very well priced. It's a really reasonable card. I think a Hawk chem style would be good for him. Oh, yeah. Great pace, great shooting, very good physicals, good passing and very good dribbling. Five-star, five-star, very good play styles. That's a good card. The Evolution today. Now, we didn't even get to this yet. This is awful. This is awful. Because when we click on Evolved players here, there is not a single player here that you look at. Which Drogba is this? This is Drogba in Footies Duo 2 if you haven't already got it. And then and that's not even the, the good Drogba. Um, there's just not a single player here that you're going to look at and think, oh yeah, they're going in my team. You, there, there might be a player here where you're like, nice, I can Evo up another one of my players. Like For me personally... I've actually got a really good option for that Evo, for the aerial threat Evo. Um, you know, as I was just kind of explaining to you guys, I really want to get like the best Arsenal team by the end of the game cycle. I'm not in any real rush to do it because we've still got a long time to go. But when we look at aerial threat and we've got, where is Ben White? I thought he was eligible for it. Oh, yeah, he was. Oh, have I Evo? Oh, wait, did I go past him? I swear I've got a Ben White that would have been eligible for this. I must have already Evoed him up, which is gutting for me because he would have been great in it team of the season ben white would have been good in in this evo and it would have been good for my arsenal team right like you know he would have been the best right back option and it would have brought it into contention but now i can't even do that because i've already evoed him in something else and so i've missed out on an opportunity there but none of these cards unless like i say unless there's one one specific player that you're looking at and you're like oh yeah they just hit different the truth is that most of these players have already got better cards in the game so it's only really looking at what are you doing with a card in the game right now? You're having fun with it. But the price, oh, I just don't understand. If we put the price as a maximum of 175,000 coins in this game right now, I'd SBC and objective players and apply those filters, look at the level of players you can buy for 175,000 coins and have change left over for the most part like, I could literally go and buy Smith and Check icon cards for the price of this Evo that doesn't Evo a single player that makes sense for me. That Thomas Party makes sense. 
But Thomas Partey, once I Evo him, or if if I Evo him, because do I really want to be spending 175,000 coins on a card that once Evoed up doesn't even look like he's the best midfielder that I've got from the Arsenal collection of midfielders? Like, what does he get? Five star, five star is very nice on him. Six foot one, medium high work rates is good. Aerial plus, ping pass plus, and jockey plus is very good on him. Press proven as well. Long ball and tiki tacker is nice as well. What's he missing? Some physical, you know, relentless maybe. Um, but then looking at his in-game stats, yes, his passing is amazing. Yes, his physical is very good. His defending is good. You know, a shadow chem style on him. He'll have great sprint speed, great defending, great physicals, very good, part, like maxed out passing. But 71 agility and 56 balance. Is, is this card worth 175,000 coins when these cards are just there to purchase anyway? Right, they're just so much better. That Stoichkov is only ninety-five k. This Ramirez that poo poos all over that Thomas Party is a hundred and fifty thousand coins, and it's an insane card. So, I, I I think that we're in a position in the game cycle now where actually evolutions could probably carry this game throughout the rest of the seven weeks, or even just for three or four weeks. Right, some foot champs based stuff around it. Maybe some rewards around it. Maybe some like SBCs that give you evolutions. And from that, you know, you, you can upgrade your favorite players. But yeah, like, I don't know if EA will do that. But like evolutions can, can save this game going forwards for the rest of the game cycle. Because where I'm at with it is I feel like I'm playing for the sake of playing right now. Because I feel like if I don't play, I'm going to fall behind, even though my team's insane. And so it has to be about like running your favorite players. And so I feel like EA need to give us the tools now to either find our favorite players in packs and picks or to upgrade our favorite players via evolutions and then give us like an Evo lounge where there's just like, like daily rewards for playing with an Evo team in an Evo lounge. Give us evolutions that we can complete in friendlies in an Evo lounge so that we can play with our Evo cards against other Evo cards in an Evo lounge and the rewards can be more Evos or, or packs for people that want packs as well. Um, because my, my level of interest in this game has fallen off a cliff over the last three or four days. I, I, I think it was like the, the start of Footy's Team 2. Uh, sorry, the start of re-release Team 2 last Friday, not the one just gone, the one before. I think that was for me where the game really fell apart. Because it was really fun for that first few days of the literal infinite. Every time I open a 51 player pack, I get like three more special cards. This is great. I've got so much fodder. I can complete every SBC. Like it, it's like it was it was really refreshing to be able to have access to opening packs infinitely. Then that novelty wore off. And now it's like, oh, my God, I, I don't care. I, like, I, I, I don't know how else to say it. And so, uh, yeah, I'm in a weird spot with the game. I'm in a weird spot. You guys can explain maybe your, your side of where you're at with the game right now. Um, what, what I need from this game, though, is the ability to make my Arsenal team competitive enough to actually want to go and play rivals and champs with it or to have an Evo lounge where I'm playing with an Evo Arsenal team. That would be really rewarding for me right now. And that just isn't in the game right now. Um, but that is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like rating, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm Peace.